The superconductivity is is involves essentially uh, a pairing of electrons uh, so that effectively that you know if, if you wish and this is this is very very uh, hand waving but you know the it, it involves essentially electrons becoming a, a fluid of pairs and so if if you start pulling on one electron the other one pulls through very easily so essentially there's no resistance typically when when you have uh, a nor normal ordinary metal like copper uh, you know, there's always some resistance because the electrons don't really like to move together. Whereas if you have electrons that are that are tightly bound to each or bound to each other, then if if one goes across, the others are are pulled along with it. The reason that it's hard to achieve at room temperatures, of course, that pairing involves a, a, a an energy to 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 pair to bind these pairs up. Temperature is essentially, uh, if you wish, a form of random energy. So the higher the temperatures, the more you have essentially random fluctuations, random energy in the system. If that random energy gets large enough, of course, these pairs just break up. So it's essentially the energy that's required to bind up these pairs. And so the, for traditional superconductors, of course, that, that the pairs are very weakly bound for more recently discovered materials. Uh, you know, the pairs are, are quite tightly bound, but not tightly bound enough to, to, to produce superconductivity at room temperature. That's why it's hard. So you have to have something where you can, which, a mechanism for binding pairs very strongly.